So we have the beautiful Hajj. I know you may have heard and you probably will still hear more lectures about Hajj because it's the season. But I pray that those who go for Hajj really and truly come back with a Hajj Mabrur. Amen. What is a Hajj Mabrur? It is a Hajj that was accepted by Allah to the degree that the person returns as pure as the day they were born. So would I know if my Hajj was Mabrur or not? The answer is yes. It's quite simple actually to pick it up. Quite simple. How? Number one is that Hajj which was fulfilled in a way that your life changed when you returned is a Hajj Mabrur. Even if two, three aspects of your life have changed, but something changed big time. Ever since this man got back from Hajj, he's not missing Salah in the first Saf, or he's always at the Masjid. It was never like that before. Inshallah, Hajj Mabrur. Ever since this man got back or this woman got back, no more vulgar words. Hajj Mabrur. Ever since this uncle got back, no more smoking. Hajj Mabrur. MashaAllah, may Allah make it easy, may Allah make it easy. And the reason why I mention it is, it is a bad habit. You know, here in this part of the world, when you talk about smoking, everyone looks at you. They look at you, then they, it's like they're checking their pockets, my cigarette's still here, you know. But it is a bad habit. I'm, I, I feel honored to be able to speak about it. It's a bad habit. So if you can quit any bad habit and you have quit it and you notice it and you feel it and you've come back from Hajj and something has changed, Good news to you, but if you came back and you straight back into the gambling, back into the pornography, back into the, the clubs and the pubs, back into the adultery, then what Hajj Mabrur was that? Your farad might be done, but I promise you something is wrong. You may not have to go back, but maybe you might think about it to go for another voluntary one. If Sahuk allows you, by the way. May Allah make it easy. I know of countries where they have to wait 20 years before they are accredited. So we are still not there. Some of us, I think the maximum is about five, six years, which is a lot, which is a lot. But it's getting there because more and more people can afford the trip. You go and apply for Hajj in Indonesia and other countries, you might have to wait for 30, 40 years in some cases. We're lucky. But I want to end the same way I started. What lessons did we learn from the Hajj? What lessons did we learn from coming together today in this masjid? Look at the colors. Every race is here. Ethnicities. I think almost every ethnicity is here. We are here in Cape Town. Subhanallah. It's holiday season. Most parts of the world. A lot of people are here from all over the globe. Don't we feel the love, the brotherhood? Don't we feel the goodness? If you don't clean your heart, clean your heart. Rid it of hatred. No, you don't hate the person. You might hate a deed. You love everyone. We will keep promoting that. The person who may be astray, totally far from the deen, within our hearts, we may dislike what they're doing, but we have a good hope and we would always reach out to them in the most loving way. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. And the minimum, don't abuse people. That's why for the Hajj to be rewarded, the Hadith says, whoever goes for the Hajj and doesn't commit immorality, is not abusive and doesn't uh, use his tongue in a negative way, that is the person who would actually have the Hajj Mabrur. Because the importance of it is such that your whole life should rotate around good words, abstaining from bad words. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us. May Allah make it easy for those who are going and those who have gone. And even those who are remaining, may Allah make it easy for all of us. May Allah grant us goodness. May we be vehicles of spreading love and kindness. And may we understand the true meaning of unity. And that it is connected more to learning the respect of a difference rather than being exactly the same in everything. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad.